Hello, in this video we will talk about uh, interaction with the Simulink MATLAB uh, and SysML models uh, during simulation. So this will be a demonstration uh, step by step how to run uh, at the same time uh, MATLAB and Cameo Systems Modeler with SysML simulation and interact between them. We use the properties, uh, use the simulation results, uh, run simulation from Cameo, see results in the MATLAB, uh, get results back to Cameo, and so on. This is the best uh, integration method uh, which uh, so far we see available. And uh, we will leverage the MATLAB ability to run the shear uh, workspace uh, uh, visually. Um, so uh, we will start from the uh, MATLAB actually, we will start the uh, MATLAB 2020A version, recent one. And um, when you integrate Cameo, you know, with MATLAB and you simulate this, uh, you get the uh, workspace created, uh, which is hidden. Uh, it's uh, invisible. Cameo creates this workspace, and you can kill this workspace workspace by running the kill uh, action, right? So um, let's see that uh, how that is done. We'll go help. Uh, uh, Windows simulation console and here I can choose uh, for example MATLAB as a language and then uh, kill MATLAB will kill the MATLAB uh, workspace which is created by the Cameo if you run the simulation uh, uh, and Cameo was using the MATLAB already as a math engine so you have this one okay now uh, next step uh, is uh, when you start the MATLAB uh, here yeah, you need to use this uh, MATLAB engine shear engine uh, command. This will uh, make this visible MATLAB instance as the shared uh, uh, workspace for the Cameo also. Okay, that's it. And uh, now I could, for example, create a block. Uh, the block could be like, for example, test. And I could have, you know, a couple of properties here, for example, um, result and the result could be like real number say real number and i could uh, take some variables you know from the matlab uh, whatever project i will open in the matlab and get results when they execute this block you know and that would ha happen dynamically so uh, how to do it so here we have the matlab uh, and i will open one of the projects so let's say that uh, this will be like uh, uh, this project it will take some time to open this simulating project okay I have this project already open and as you can see here I can see the project I can see the variables for example I have the variable M which is 50 and I have the variable which is V0 which is 88 so let's say that I want to take that M and V0 and calculate like result which would be like this plus this okay so just for that, uh, I have the result property, which is real. And then uh, I can uh, do many uh, ways, you know, to call MATLAB here, you know, uh, by choosing the language. But one way is actually when you go to the value property here, there is default value where I can specify the opaque expression of that default value and then put here the MATLAB uh, and uh, say that, uh, okay, this will be uh, m plus v zero okay so as you can see here i don't have m i don't have v zero definition i don't have those properties but because it's shared workspace i see the same properties as the matlab can see here v zero and m and they have the values and i will get result if i will simulate this one so run and i get result as you can see here 138 and that came from here that result came from here as you can see uh, that uh, uh, v0 came from here m uh, came from here if i will change something like for example uh, v0 let's say i will change here which will be like 100 
Okay, close it. So now V0 is 100, right? And if I will run this uh, again, simulation run, yes, you see answer is 150. Okay, so now answer is 150. I even see this answer here, 150, you see. It is added also to this uh, MATLAB variables list. So now uh, I have this, for example, um, opportunity here to run anything in the same workspace, run many things in SysML like this and this and this, right? Interact, uh, uh, get results, store results in file, uh, run again multiple times, uh, in all in the same workspace, updating the same variables. That's amazing. Uh, now, uh, what uh, I could demonstrate here, let's say that I will uh, uh, run this model. This is that uh, um, ABS model. I will input different speeds, right? Uh, for example, for starting from uh, 50 plus one, plus one, plus one, I will get a uh, different uh, result as a stopping distance. Uh, even I don't see here stopping distance, but I could calculate that based on those uh, parameters here. And then I could store that to the file, you know, and then, uh, you know, I could monitor that even visually, I could see the graphs coming from the Simulink and all that in interaction, interaction dynamically with the MATLAB. So here I have, uh, for example, block, which has some control property that represents one or zero from the MATLAB, is it turned on or off? So uh, zero is off, one is on ABS, then uh, initial speed 50, stopping distance, uh, this is whatever value I will delete, stopping distance values, and then um, to run this itera in iterations, uh, so I have scenario here as activity, so I run this uh, simulation model, this might not be even needed because I have already this model open, and then uh, I get the calculated the stopping distance value, and then I update, increase the uh, initial speed, and then I wait a little bit and get results. I could actually, instead of that, you know, uh, print results somewhere, you know, instead of waiting, I just could run, you know, as fast as I can, but let's see how that works now. So run uh, uh, here, and I now will execute this scenario. And I get, as you can see, initial results with stopping distance 50. If you will check that one here, you see the stopping distance is actually 50. And those graphs created by Simulink. You see the stopping distance uh, is increasing, uh, velocity is increasing, uh, initial velocity, and uh, we run this scenario. As you can see here, all dynamic, uh, all iterate, interacting uh, dynamically. At any moment I could stop here, like for example, pause here. I still see the results, right? Still see the charts, updated charts. Still see the uh, models. Uh, and I can continue at any moment again. So again, I continue from where I ended, right? I have those charts updated. Simulation is running, you see this, uh, the V is increased uh, and they're running again and again the same model with the different characteristics. So this one is actually needed because this executes the model simulation and uh, that updates the parameters. So we update parameters separately in the MATLAB, we execute the model separately here. Simulation model, right? So that's how it works. Now we could um, uh, store results in between, you know, that is not something complicated, uh, uh, but uh, uh, this is something uh, extra not related to this integration. Let's say like uh, real quickly, simulation config, uh, let's say stopping distance, uh, and then uh, let's say that uh, I will take this export stopping distance, uh, stopping distance file, this will be sample. Then we'll say that file name stopping distance C, CSV. 
here what are the values which I want to capture I want to capture V I want to capture stopping distance I could capture also uh, for example uh, anything anything really from those properties I just need to create those properties the and then uh, right at the end no because I want to see the how they increased and that's it pretty much and then uh, if I will uh, execute I should execute this one that's pretty much it uh, uh, what else do I want I want to make it as a part of this config so I have this config now available now if I will run this uh, uh, let's say again from scratch right it takes this one it starts running as you can see here stopping distance from beginning starts storing the data into CSV file and we see results updating here So those results were with control one. I could run again with control zero, or I could run this simulation, whole simulation with control one and zero, you know, I could modify the simulation. So here is amazing way to work in collaboration, the same workspace, see all the properties updated. Uh, for example, any property, if I want to see in Cameo from those in the MATLAB, I just need to create that property. For example, now I have the stopping distance created, right? So if I create sim time property, I would see the sim time. Okay, now as a last step, let's go to the file here in the project directory. I have velocity and stopping distance. Thank you.